Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Burisno 0.73. Now, when we left off, we had just made a huge amount of cash. We actually had, I do believe, 31,000, but I have actually just made a visit to Arish, because that is still one of the places that we borrowed money from, and I've paid off another 6,000. So I do believe we are now only in debt to Dazuk and Bolgan. Matareya, Kulvara, and Arish are all paid off, as far as I I'm aware so that is incredibly good now what we can do is take on these Dezook slavers now the great thing about this is that they were actually attempting to take me out with one of their comrades armies and he had a army strength of 124 so this would have been a very difficult fight indeed but thankfully enough this time around we don't really need to worry about that because we were able to separate them just before I started the recording, so I am very happy about that, that's for sure. So as you can see, we actually have some really good units right here. Look at these light Ren wards. Yeah. Light Ren words? Yeah, okay. I will not attempt to pronounce it any further than that, but still. I do believe these guys are actually really cool. Look at them. They actually have, I do believe, blunt maces and very good horses by the looks of things as well. So I am actually looking forward to seeing what they're capable of doing. And as you can see, wow, we just knocked one of those guys unconscious. I like it. Can we get more of them unconscious? I'd like it. I would like it a lot, because they are slavers, of course. Ah, unfortunate. Oh, never mind. Okay. Yeah, actually one of our light Ren words were able to do that. That's very, very nice indeed. So let's just charge everyone in, apart from our archers, of course. And we probably want to get some of these guys taken out as well. Gonna try and go for the female slaves, because they do sell for a little bit more. Ooh, we do want to go for some of their enforcers, though. First and foremost, they are gonna sell for the most. So, everything is going according to plan. And I am actually really happy that you did suggest to get those cavalry units. Because I do believe, if we didn't have the cavalry units right now, I think we'd have a great deal of difficulty taking any prisoners whatsoever. So yes, there's always that to take into account, and I am very happy. I gotta say, look at that. 42 of them, 42 of them were taken prisoner, and we only lost 7 to wounds, because we do, of course, have an incredibly good medic. Do we not? Inkara, yes. There we oh my goodness, she looks hilarious. Okay. Yeah, she is actually riding our rhino at the moment, so yeah, she's looking rather amusing, I have to say. But yes, there we go. That is very nice indeed. We're able to rescue a couple, and we're able to take 65 slaves total, which is so, so good. And yeah, I think we'll take one piece of loot as well. There we go. So now, if I was confident in my abilities to take out 27 enforcers, then I would decide to take on these slavers over here. But for now, I do believe we'll be heading on to Dezuk, the town, and we'll see what we can do about selling our recently acquired prisoners. And wow, there's a lot of fully powerful Dezuk slavers in this area. Oh my. Yeah, a lot of those bands. I really like the ones that have just finished fighting because they have some rescued prisoners, they have a little bit less in the way of power in terms of their army size and various other things like that, but goodness me. Okay, that is very nice indeed. So yeah, we'll sell those, that's fine. And we'll now go into the tavern to sell our prisoners. Ooh, veteran slaves. And ransom broker, hello. I want to sell all the prisoners for 8,400. Thank you very much. And I'd like to take these veteran slaves as well. Look at that. Five of them for 2,000. I'd like to hire some slaves as well. I'd like to hire 20 slaves for 4,000. There we go. Wow. We're actually doing quite well, I do believe. It seems as though we're doing quite nicely, at least. Maybe... Hmm. Maybe we are. Okay, so let's visit these guys. And we're going to pay off the 6,000 here. So now we have 22,000 still remaining. That is excellent. So we have some slaves here. They are going to be becoming hmm, trained slaves soon. These guys are going to become gladiators soon. So I can only hope that they level up rather fast. And we get some Hakon Imperials, some sharpshooters, some more cavalry units leveled up. And whoa, we're actually getting some really high level units now as well. Look at these guys. Whoa. That is insane. That's really nice. Okay, so yeah, everything's going quite nicely, I have to admit. Now, I would like to try and find some more foreign invaders if possible, because they do sell for quite a significant amount. And I'm actually thinking 
Oh. A messenger rides up to you and tells you that a third legion centurion has rallied his soldiers and is now marching for war. That is not great, I gotta say. But have you noticed something? Just as I was about to say before we receive that messenger, we outnumber the Hakon Empire vassals by a rather considerable margin. And I have no idea why that is, but nevertheless, we are actually going to be doing battle with these guys right here, these Legion scouts. I think we could probably take them prisoner quite easily, but even if we are unable to take them prisoner, I do believe, well, getting rid of that patrol is probably going to be a good idea because they do move quite fast, and if we were to be defeated by any future foreign Legion, then we might have some problems, but... So far, I don't believe we will. We are quite powerful nowadays. And as I was saying, we do seem to outnumber many of the Hakon vassals, so I was wondering, do you think it's a good idea to go to war against them? <laughs> Probably not, but you never know. We have to select someone eventually to attack, so maybe it would be an idea. Maybe. And I don't really want to get taken out by a small band of Praetorian Guards, so I'm hopeful that these guys will just kill them as soon as possible. So <laughs> let's hopefully make that a reality because, goodness me, I do not want to be taken out. They do have some pretty good Legion Archers though. Whoa, our light Renwards are doing an incredible job. Nice, nice, there we go. No, ah, yes, why did that go for an overhead? I seriously did not want that. There we go. Thank you very much. Now, I do know that many of you thought the developer that sent me those messages was trolling me, perhaps, but I do believe that he has clarified that now, and I misinterpreted what was going on, <laughs> as usual. So, yeah, I'll explain in just a second after we take a couple of those. We actually have 80. What? Look at this. 80 prisoners. Max we can take. Whoa, okay. So, yes, first off, the first mistake I made was the fact that it was a sway-backed Corsa at the time. And now that our wound treatment, I assume, has restored it to its former glory, it is now at 56 speed, whereas before it was, I do believe, 42, or maybe something like 48 or something like that, I don't know. But this is very, very fast, as you can see. This is 43, that is 56, so we would be able to very easily deal with that. And of course, as a result, you might be able to take out many, many units without getting hurt yourself. And... There are a couple of other things that he mentioned and gave me some tips about how to fight on horseback. And it involves using your backhand bash attack with a mace rather than your forehand. Because if you use the backhand, the AI has a difficult time reacting to it if you are going in a certain formation. And yeah, he explained in depth about how to do it and, well... I do not know whether I have the skill to be able to pull it off, but I will attempt to use more backhand attacks because it does appear as though the AI does not know how to block the backhand attacks as much as the forehand. So yeah, we need to be cautious about that, of course, because I have noticed, I have noticed that whenever we attack someone and we attack them with a forehand attack, they are always able to either block it or retaliate against us in such a way that will make us take severe damage. So, let's test it out, shall we? Let's make sure that we use our backhand and we'll see what we can do about not taking any damage whatsoever. So, oh, there's actually a tournament here. Shall we do that? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, apparently this fellow does not sell prisoners? He doesn't take prisoners from me? I have no idea why he doesn't take prisoners. Maybe some of them don't and some of them do. Maybe some of them are shady and some of them are not. Okay. Well, hmm. Okay. Well, what we do need is more food, of course. So let us take that. And, yeah, we don't need to take the maps at the moment. So, yeah, yeah. Let's just find some more units to fight. And, yeah, we're actually at full army capacity right now. 
believe it or not. Look at that. 161. Who would have thought back a couple of episodes ago when we were defeated by one of those foreign invader legions that we would be at such a strong position right now? I did not. I was far away from that in my mind. I had no idea. But it seems as though this tactic is definitely pulling off and making us into a very powerful entity on the battlefield. So now all we need to do is find some foreign legion fellows. Ah, here we go. 102 of them. Huh. Shall we do it? Let's do it. <laughs> oh, I am being a little bit too confident here, perhaps. 160 versus 102, and oh. That's also why I probably should relax a little bit and restore our HP, because we are now at 50%, which is not great. By any means, not very great at all. Now, we do need to avoid the lances, of course. That's going to be quite a difficult task. Okay, so... I'm actually unsure. What are we going to do here? Well, I think we can probably just charge everyone in and then just put our archers right here. That should be fine. Because we do outnumber them. Not by much, but we do outnumber them and... Oh my goodness, take out that guy. He's got a lance. Take him out. Yeah, we do actually seem to be doing quite a good job right now. We really want to make sure that we take out these grunts as well, though. I am using the forehand, which is exactly what I said I wouldn't do, but let's try it out, shall we? Let's try out the backhand a little bit more. Yeah, it does appear as though the backhand is a little bit easier to use, but of course our mount does take some damage if you're not on the ball like I am usually not, but still. Let's do it. Take out as many of these guys as we can. We have 80 capacity now. Well, technically we have 68 because we already have 12 prisoners, but still. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait, we need to put our archers down here a little bit more. Even though I would like to take all of these guys prisoner, I feel as though we need the support. We need the ranged support, just in case. Just in case. We don't want to lose too many units, after all. Come on, take him out. I'm doing some damage, but I'm not fast enough to really do damage. There we are, 91. That's a little bit better, I do believe. 82, very nice. And we have now advanced! Aha! We have advanced and leveled to level 16. Very... Oh my! Very nice, I was about to say. Just when we were greeted by a huge amount of these fellows right here. Oh no. No. Thank you. Okay. I was a little bit unfortunate to get cornered right there. I did a lot of damage to this fellow. Hopefully we'll be able to take him out. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Foreign invader. Very nice. Okay, so, yeah, we're having a couple of difficulties dealing with the second wave, I have to say. So maybe we should just charge in our archers now, because I feel they may be out of ammunition. Might be. Well, whatever the case. We are receiving our reinforcements, and that's exactly what we like to see. And I would like to take out one of these foreign warlords. Oh, yes, they're doing so much damage to us right now. Aha, there we go, come on. Take him out. Yeah, there we go. That's what we like. That's where the money is. Goodness me, I've turned into such a Ferengi right now. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, whatever the case, look at this. We're actually destroying these guys. Like, it's actually not bad. We've done some damage, as you see. We have lost 26 units, but is that really a big deal when we're going to be taking so many prisoners? I don't believe so. I think this is going to be one of the best rewards that we have ever gotten so far. Now, I would like to take this guy out for myself, hopefully be able to... No. Yeah. I was hoping that I'd be able to knock him unconscious, but no such luck. There's not enough space over there. But there we are. 21 renown, 16 morale. We lost 26. What did we lose, though? Majority, we lost cavalry, which of course is a major problem, but I think we can recruit quite a few anyway. So there it is. Another 50. Oh yes, another 50 prisoners, so we now have 62, and of course because we lost those units in battle, we now have a reduced prisoner capacity, so I suppose that worked out. That was actually not bad. And we can take a few pieces of loot, and then we can leave. Now let's take a look. Can some of our slaves level up? Yes, they can. Oh yeah, we've got some trained slaves now. Let's get some femme fatales, let's get some cavalrymen, camp defenders... Oh yeah, hack on, legionnaires and everything. Okay, excellent. Very nice indeed. Okay, so what we want to do is we probably want to 
Wait a minute. Are these guys using ranged weapons? I don't know. No, they're not. So why are they... Uh, why are they archers? Okay. We need to change them. So Kaikoth warriors go to infantry. Thank you very much. There we go. Okay, so we have 65. So I think you know where we're going to be heading to next. And that is the nearest town. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, yeah, we're actually... Oh my. That's quite a bold move. Realm of the Falcon has declared war against the Kingdom of Tolrenia. Mm-hmm. But yes, as I was about to say, we are actually quite strong right now. And I have a feeling that we're actually one of the strongest in the game right now, apart from some of the unique spawns and maybe the leaders of each faction. So I ask, should we think about starting our own faction right now? Or should we do something completely different? Oh my goodness, wow. Oh my, we have two companions right here. Hello! I have a feeling that this guy is going to be quite useful to us. So let us hope that we'll be able to... Why can I not sell my prisoners here? I have no idea. Oh my goodness. Okay, so how... Oh, he sells mercenaries. I see. Okay, so 750 for each one. So I suppose I'll take five. There we go. Thank you. And Antiope is here. So I would like to be able to... 6,000. Yeah, let's do it. Let us do it. Why not? We have the funds now, and I'm hopeful that we'll be able to actually sell our prisoners, hopefully at Kulvara. I'm not entirely sure why it's not allowing us to do it at the Tavern Keepers, but yeah, maybe it's just a slight glitch, or maybe I'm doing something incorrectly. Okay, there might be a Ransom Broker here as well, which would be wonderful, but if not, then hopefully Eleanor will take... No, apparently not. Huh. I see. I'd like to flip a coin with you for 500 heads. Ah, oh, it's tails. Ah, of course. <laughs> I thought I'd just take the risk. Okay, so I'm looking for ransom brokers. Grund, Dezuk, Andal, and Murdenhall. Okay, so yeah, we are right next to Dezuk, so let's go over there. That would be amazing. Okay, I just cannot wait to see how much we're going to be getting for these guys. Okay, there's the Ransom Broker. I'm just going to check the... No. Wow. I'm just going to check the Tavern Keeper, but no, he doesn't appear to take prisoners for some reason. I want to sell all the prisoners. Look at that! 18,000 for 62 prisoners. Oh, yes. There we go. And we have a Tavern Shopper here. Oh, uh, yeah, no. We're not going to do that. I thought he was the Mystery Merchant. Okay. So, anything else we can do here? Well, we could buy a couple of... Well, we'll buy some bread. Okay, so we can now head on to Bolgan and pay off our last 6,000 just before the interest goes up. There we are. Very nice. So we are no longer indebted to anyone, I do believe. And we have full run of the map. So we can decide to do anything we like, basically. <laughs> I do believe we have the freedom to do anything. And that is the beauty. That is the beauty of Warband. You can just do anything you like, and I really do appreciate that freedom. So, let's take a look here. We're going to be making Antiope into an archer, I do believe. She is going to be primarily an archer. She has a very good horse as well, and I'm thinking of taking it, but it is riding skill 6. So, don't think it's going to really help me out that much. No, definitely not. So, yeah, and she is an elf, and I don't really want to be riding an elven horse as a dwarf. That would not be too good. So... Scout has actually leveled up, so what are we going to be doing here? Well, we have done what I said we would do, and that is make Prisoner Management 5, and I think that should be the limit right now. So, other than that, I think we'll probably just go for agility, and maybe some athletics, because if I get off my horse, then I'd like to be able to run really fast. Maybe more inventory management? That really has not helped us that much, though, because... Of course, prisoner management is the main reason for us even having this amount of money in the first place. Our trainer skill is good, our riding skill is actually really surprisingly good, and I suppose the only thing I could do otherwise is shield and iron flesh. So, yeah, I think athletics, that will be fine. 
Go for some two-handed, a little bit of archery, just in case, I have no idea. And we do have some Dazook Slavers on the horizon over there, so I think we'll probably take those guys on. But, yeah, I'm actually at a loss. I'm actually at a loss at what we should do, because there are so many factions and so many interesting developments that can actually happen in Perizno. I have no idea what I should do first, because I have a feeling these two new factions, they're going to be a little bit too difficult for us to take, or at least... A little bit too difficult for us to attack. And I'm actually thinking these would be difficult as well with our current force. But maybe what we should do is just level up every single person we have in our army right now. Just level them up by fighting Dezuk Slavers, foreign legions, foreign invaders. And going on from there, making us into the strongest army we can possibly be. And then launching an all-out war against one of the factions but which faction that's the thing which faction because it's so early on in the series for Prisno 0.73 that they have not had any opportunity to weaken so there are no factions that are on the back foot as it were there are no factions that are having difficulties with another and maybe that's exactly the problem maybe we need to wait a little bit maybe there needs to be a little bit of idle time and we'll try and see whether we can work it out after that. But, hmm, I am unsure. So as you can see, I was actually just waiting for dawn there. Because I like to fight in the light. I like to fight in the light, not at the night. Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now, I am hopeful that we will not get pincushioned. Because, yeah, the slaves do have a propensity for incredible archery skills so let us charge everyone in and we'll put our archers here because they are right on top of us right now we need to make good use of our skills right here move very very fast and hopefully we'll be able to take out many of these slaves oh my goodness whoa the slavers are actually going after me no how dare you okay no this fellow does not like us oh my goodness i'm actually doing terribly in this i have no idea why i think it's because of the angle of the battlefield and I'm making excuses, yes, of course. Okay, well, the best thing I can do, I suppose, is try and take out some of these guys right here. Try and take out some of the enforcers. And, wow. Yeah, our units are just swarming them. Seriously swarming them. And I like it. I do like it. I like it a lot. Because I do not have to do much. And a lot of our units do get to knock them unconscious, which is also very nice. Although, it's a little bit disappointing when they don't knock them unconscious, like these Hakon mercenary cataphracts, but they are so good that I think I will forgive them. <laughs> ah, yes. Forgive them for that. So, 31 of them. Look at that. Wow. And we do get to rescue some prisoners, some actually really good prisoners as well. So, yeah, I'm at a dead end. I have no clue what I should do. Should I just continue fighting these slaver bands, these foreign invaders, and then... When we have become so powerful that no one can actually even contest our claim to fame, <laughs> then maybe then we will decide that it would be a good idea to attack something. But Hakon Empire has declared war against Ahara. I'm hopeful that that will indeed then mean that we can hopefully see some factions become weaker. I do not know. But mostly... It doesn't appear as though it's very easy to find those things. Hmm. Okay. Well, sell all the prisoners. Another 6,600. Thank you very much. A gladiatrix champion! Yep. Let's do it. <laughs> I have to take all of these new units. Oh, yes. These new units look so cool. Look at that. 112! Oh my goodness, okay, yeah, we're actually dying as a result of all of these incredible units that we're recruiting right here. Okay, so as you can see, 73 HP, 8 in Power Strike, 6 and 6 in Shield and Athletics, and some incredibly nice throwing weapon proficiency, as well as one-handed and two-handed. Their equipment is also very, very good. Look at that. Wow. Okay, that's impressive. That is impressive. And I still have to say I'm really impressed by the female faces as well. They've done an incredible job on those. So, yeah, apart from that, we are going to be leveling up a couple of our units here and then ending the episode off here. So, oh, 
Wait a minute. Turanian Hackers or Turanian King's Guards? I think King's Guards are slightly more useful because they do become Kingsmen. Not entirely sure what the Hackers become, but yeah, that will be fine. So yes, 150 strong in our army right now. We are doing very, very well. I am very pleased. And where to from here? That is my question. So I thank you for watching and I will see you next time.